Mr. Ronda, sure you kneel back for his brief rebuttal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it's uh, probably time that we forgive the grandmothers if they didn't give us the birthday present that we wanted. <laughs> Because the birthday present, the present that uh, that Queen Victoria gave us was the area, the era of Victorian Enlightenment, which was the era in which Canada came together, um, whereas America came together in the era of Puritan uh, and, uh, and and slave trading, um, Puritanism and slave trading. This whole notion that it's time for this country to grow up. To me, people who are always taunting Canada that it's time to grow up are always businessmen of field. It's the most grown up thing Canada could do to strip down its border and let commerce rule the continent. Mm -hmm. Because businessmen think that they can do better financially if they get a seat at the American table and their Canadian colors are denying them entrance to the poker game. Mm -hmm. So the whole notion of an independent and truly democratic Canada is to them just something that's keeping them from being high rollers in Vegas. I'm not suggesting that those are, those, are, those are Tom's beliefs, but we have found time and time again that whenever somebody stood up and said, we should, should now stand up and tell America that they have ten times our population and, and that they're pumping Hollywood movies into us with, with their worldview and that you know, their president feels comfortable sort of physically assaulting our prime minister. And we should say we should grow up and say, it doesn't really matter that we live next to the biggest superpower in the history of the planet. It doesn't really matter that our function from the beginning is to reflect something different, a peaceful voice in North America. And every time that we move towards assimilating ourselves with this behemoth, uh, the closer we come to losing that absolutely precious and delicate, delicate vision of a separate Canada. Canada should not exist. We've been invaded time and time again by these people. 5440 of fight, manifest destiny. America has always been built on the concept that the, the, the attic is theirs to rummage through. But every time out, we've stood up, Brock and Tecumseh, uh, McDonald wielded his, his musket against the Fenians. Time and time again, we have to remember these, okay. Leonard Cohen told the story that he was given an award. He said, you know, it was at the Junos and, and he was accepting male vocalist <coughs> of the year. And he said, only in a country like this could a man like me get male vocalist of the year. <laughs> but he said, when I became, came of age as an artist, I knew that I had to go to the United States because that was the real market. That's when it really happened. And my mother said to me, be careful, Leonard. They're not like us down there. <laughs> and he ended with, and that's all I have to say on the subject of free trade. 